In this video, you will learn how to create user accounts for your staff and set their permissions to access the parts of the control panel that they require. Staff accounts are managed in the Settings and Tools Staff Users menu. To edit an existing user, click on the username. On the User Profile page, you can add a photo, change their email address, password and permission group. Permission groups allow you to set up roles in your business each with the same permissions in the control panel. This lets you quickly assign the permission levels to new staff by instead assigning them a permission group. Several permission groups for common roles are pre-built into your control panel. You can edit by clicking on the Add or Edit User Permission Groups link. While you can create a new permission group from scratch, it's often easier to duplicate an existing group and modify it to your needs. In this example, we're going to give one of our warehouse staff some extra permissions. Click the edit box for the group and choose duplicate. You'll be taken to the permission group permission group role and each of the individual permissions. Permission group roles determine if a permission is allowed or denied when it's set to the default. The default will either be green, meaning it's allowed, or pink for denied. Browse through the tabs to view the different permissions and see if they are set to allow, deny or default and adjust them. For this example, we're giving our permission group the ability to edit our content pages. First, we check that they have access to the menu. With the Access Control tab selected, we pick Content and see that the default group has access. We'll now check Menu. Here we find that brands and product categories are allowed, but other content types are not. Click the Allow button to change the permissions for this group. We're now going to change the name and description of the group so it reflects the permission levels better and then click the Save complete the configuration of our user permission group. We now create our staff member and assign this user permission group. Go back into the staff users page and click Add new staff user. Enter the details into the fields provided be sure to pick the username carefully as it once the user has been saved. You should also give every staff member a unique email address so that they can reset their password easily. Speaking of passwords, for security they must be 8 to 25 characters long and contain at least one uppercase letter, lowercase letter and one number. Click the Save button once you're done and a new staff member is ready to access the control panel.